Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about the beaver gardening badge and the first thing we're going to talk about is the section where it says learn what tools you need to garden and how to use some of the tools safely. So here we have some useful things to start gardening. What have we got here? Some compost, here we are. Uh, some gardening gloves, these are very useful to protect your hands um, from getting cut and scratched and so on. And also, um, if you're using soil or compost, it might um, prevent you from getting a skin irritation if you're sensitive to the stuff in the compost. Um, if you, you, you can you put your hands in compost okay, but you need to wash them straight away afterwards, but it is probably better to use gardening gloves all the time. Um, what else have we got? We've got a hand fork, um, a pair of secateurs, they're sharp, um, so you must only use those um, if you are being supervised. Um, what's this called? A trowel, yeah. Uh, what else? We've got a plant pot and a saucer that goes with it. The source is to catch the water which will come out through the holes in the bottom um, when you water it. If you put too much water in then the saucer will catch the water. It's very important that you put just the right amount of water because plants don't like to have too much. That makes that kills them very easily um, but they do need to be kept moist otherwise they'll die because they'll be too dry. Um, we've also got this. A watering can and what I'm going to use today is a propagator. Now I found this in our garden shed you probably might not have one but it doesn't matter whether you do or not um, but I thought I'd use it today being that I've got one. Um, it comes with a see-through lid which uh, you, you plant all your seeds and then you put it on the top it keeps it nice and moist and the, when you put it on a windowsill, a nice sunny windowsill indoors, the, it, it's like a mini greenhouse and it make, keeps the, the seeds very nice and moist and warms them up a bit so that they germinate. That means they start to grow uh, more quickly and uh, it, uh, it gives them better um, conditions to grow in. So I am just going to fill up, finish filling up my uh, propagator with soil, not right up to the top, so I need some space for putting the seeds in. A few more trowelfuls of compost in there, that's lovely. Firm it down slightly so that it's um, nice and compacted and not lots of big gaps. Make it nice and smooth and then we are going to put some seeds in. The first seeds I'm going to use are these. They are, we found these in um, a butternut squash and they are fairly big seeds. I'm, I'm just doing as an experiment. I don't know whether they'll grow or not, but um, hopefully they will. Uh, and you can try out all different seeds and see if they grow. It doesn't really matter if they don't, does it? I'm going to plant some of those. I've dried those out a little bit first. And then the other thing I'm going to plant today is out of um, a packet of mixed lettuce leaves. I think those probably will grow because I planted some less than a week ago here and um, they are already starting to have tiny little green shoots. So I'll look forward to eating those and after a few weeks you can um, take a few of the leaves out and put them in your sandwich and then they'll carry on growing, the plants will carry on growing and you can keep picking a few every now and then. So that should be interesting. And I'll plant some more as well. Right, so planting, I am going to make a row. I think, because these are quite big seeds, the butternut squash, I'm going to think probably about six I will put in here only. So one, two, just spread them out evenly. Three, four, five, 
five. And lastly, number six. Um, and then I am going to plant the lettuce. It's a bit fiddly to do with gloves, so I'm going to do it with bare hands. It's easier. And these are very, very tiny little seeds. Um, so you can't just plant them one at a time because they're, they're too, hold, too small to hold onto. So I'm just going to... I'm going to make a straight line in my compost, just a little dent, so I can see where I'm going. Then I'm going to sprinkle them quite close, just a few at a time along that little row. Okay, take a little pinch. Don't squeeze too hard because you'll squash the seeds. You have to be gentle with seeds. Okay, and then a few more along there. Okay, make sure they're nice and even. Right, so that's that. And then, what do you think's next? Yeah, we need to cover them up with a little bit of compost. Not too much, just enough so that they're completely buried and you can't see them anymore. So just a little scattering on the top. There we go. You might notice that I'm doing this indoors. That was so that it would record better. Um, normally, I'd do some planting outdoors, really, because it's better. Um, if you're going to sprinkle compost around, you don't really want compost um, on the floor in the, the kitchen, do you? But I have put a, a tablecloth down and I'm not making too much mess and I'll tidy it away afterwards. Right, that's the compost gone on the top. And then what's the other thing you think we need to put on to make them start growing? We've thought about, we've put the seeds in some compost. They need that to start growing and we're going to put them in a, a light place so they need some light to get going water that's the other thing so here's my watering can i'm going to water them just along the rows like that give them a decent soaking i don't want to be able to see any loose any water sort of so, so, going up the sides at the end i just want the whole compost to be nice and moist Okay, so that looks good. You just see the top of the seed there, I'm going to cover it over. Lovely. Right, I think that's finished. Oh, but I might forget what I've put in there, mightn't I? So give me two weeks and I can't remember which way round it was and which what I planted where. So I have done myself some little labels. These are lolly sticks, um, but you could use a piece of plastic or even a bit of cardboard really. Um, it might go a bit soggy, but it'll hopefully keep you going for long enough. And this one says butternut squash on. I've put the date because I think that would be quite useful to know. Where did I put my butternut squash? The, these ones. So I put it in around about, took it in the soil at the end, end of the row that I made. And this one says lettuce leaves with the date on as well. And then I'll know how long they've been growing. And if my butternut squash has been sitting in the soil for a week and nothing's come out, for a month rather, and nothing's come out, I'll think, well, probably those are never going to grow. Lastly, put the lid on, make my little mini greenhouse, and find a nice sunny um, windowsill to put it on. If you haven't got a propagator, which you probably don't have, you could make your own using pot this one came with mushrooms in and uh, a see-through pot this one had grapes in it I think um, or you could use a piece of cling film instead fill up your pot with compost sow your seeds as I said and then just pop that on the top it doesn't need to perfectly fit it doesn't matter if there are a few little gaps it just keeps it a bit warmer and doesn't let all the water escape um, and then, and if you're using cling film, probably put a li few little holes in the top to stop it getting hot and sweaty. Um, and then that should help your seeds grow beautifully. <laughs>